Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be a gear wrench product. I haven't had too many gear wrench tools over the course of my lifetime. I do have a few. They all work pretty well. And I didn't really specifically seek this one out to buy a gear wrench version of what I've got here. Ultimately, I was looking at the Knipix Twin Force is what they're called. And it's a diagonal pair of diagonals basically with that pivoting action to allow you to get... Uh, easier cutting or more force with less labor all those kinds of things is what they call themselves so i was doing a google search of knipix twin force to see if i could find them cheaper somewhere because they are expensive and here you can see them for 67 dollars. but then right next to it is the pair of gear wrench pivot force instead of twin force uh, for 17 dollars. and i thought 50 dollars difference I'm really just wanting to see if this action here is something that's significant enough to make that big of a difference. And I decided, you know what, I'm just going to save the 50 bucks. I'm going to buy these. Gear Wrench seems to be a pretty good brand. I'm going to try these out. And plus, not only that, sometimes, you know, some of us don't want to spend 60 bucks on a pair of pliers. These are probably going to cut everything that those are going to cut. Uh, they're always going to do that. I mean, they're a pair of diagonal cutters. Now, those might last longer. The cutting edge might work well better or something like that. Uh, but then there's always those little bitty things that make a tool maybe more comfortable to use, more enjoyable, that places value in there. But maybe sometimes people just don't care about that. If I could save 50 bucks, I want to save 50 bucks. So I went ahead and got these. Again, these run $17. These are their 8-inch diagonals, Pivot Force. And then they also have a pair of long nose pliers that have that same pivot force action for around the same price, $17, $18. What I ended up buying was the set of them. I think that's the part number there, 82124. Those are going to run you around $33 on Amazon. Again, I'll put links for all these things in the description. And I also put the pictures up here like I normally do in case you want to check them out further. But ultimately, what I hope to help you with in this video is, is the $17 good enough? Or do I need to go ahead and spend another $50 bucks and get a pair of Knipix? Or maybe even a pair of Kleins that might be a little bit cheaper or something like that. But here lately, Kleins and Knipix and all those, they've all been pretty similar in that price range action. So again, you have the Pivot Force action. Action, which it says on this package here requires 40% less effort 12 gauge is the max cutting capacity on these things is what it says I'm going to cut a little bit more than that just to show you I'll cut the same wire with the Knipix and also with uh, these gear wrenches so you can kind of see the cutting action because ultimately that's what you're doing with these tools and then I'll show you the little thing that's the big deal to me anyways when it comes to a pair of pliers that I'm willing to spend more money on one if it does this uh, than, than something else and maybe that's the big deal to you and that will help you make the decision as well and that little nuance to me is out of the package these gear wrench are extremely stiff i mean they will not open probably a millimeter even with me just shaking them like that you basically have to physically open and close them every single time so every cut you make you're going to have to use effort to open it and then close it open it and close it I've lubed them up. I've been working on them, you know, trying to get them a little bit looser than what they were. And I'd say they're slightly better, not significantly better. But again, maybe over time of months or something like that, they'll work free. I've had tools do that. Uh, the long nose pliers, a little bit better. I mean, those are at least easy to open. They're still not going to open by themselves, but it's not requiring me very much effort to open and close those in my hand versus these. It's pretty much, I'm having to almost even throw a couple fingers back behind it i can't hardly even just do it with like my pinky i've got to have both fingers so extremely stiff again if those are if that's something that doesn't matter to you you're saving 50 bucks because i'm going to show you in a minute the cutting not a lot different although i'm talking about cutting against regular knipics not the pivot force or twin force knipics so i'm still left wondering how well the twin force knipics cut compared to these regular ones so i'm probably still at some point in time gonna have to spend that 60 bucks to find that out but if any of you have the twin force and regular diagonals let me know if that difference is worth it to you i'm really interested to know that uh comment that down below so again that's the biggest difference to me no matter how you shake it out that's the only main difference they're all going to cut well every pair of pliers i have out here is going to cut through the 12 gauge wire which is the max size that they recommend but will it cut other things differently probably so i'm going to show you with some six some 10 and then also some 12. Uh, i have a pair of clients here they've been sitting out over there these were stiff as well which is why i typically don't use these either they're not near as stiff as the gear wrench and i feel like these would definitely if i got them out more and used them 
these would loosen up for sure uh, and I can use these the same way as my Knipix, but again, not even close. I can just sit there and shake these. Uh, phenomenal. I can just sit there and look how fast I can do that. I can do that all day long, extremely fast. No way I could do it with this because, I mean, it's just taking some effort. So again, even if it is 40% less cutting force required, it's 60%, 70% more effort required to open and close them so you got to take that into consideration but let's go ahead and cut some wire so we'll start out with some 12 gauge uh solid wire here i can take my knipix and i mean as i expect nothing involved there i could sit there and do that all day long no problems whatsoever i get out the pivot force same thing i mean it's going to cut the wire easy it's going to not have a problem doing that so if you're looking for something that's going to cut well for $17, these might be what you're looking for if you can get them to open up better. And that's the one thing I don't like about buying pliers and stuff on Amazon, which I have to buy my Knipix on Amazon because there's really no stores around me that carry much of these. Uh, you never know what you're getting. Like if you can go in the store and actually get in the package, sometimes there's a difference between one pair of pliers and the next. If you can somehow get in the package and see how well they open and close, uh, you can get you one. So 12 gauge wire, no problem. Same thing. Here's some little small Knipix uh, along those pliers. I don't have anything kind of in that size range. That cuts through 12 gauge wire easy as well. You can see that in there. These, these do too. Uh, these are significantly better cutting force wise uh, than what these little or Knipix long nose pliers are. So that's 12 gauge wire. They're all gonna do well at that. Let's go over now and move into the 10 gauge wire. It's really gonna be probably no different. Knipix, still no problem. Gear wrench, no problem with that either. Uh, you get into the uh, Knipix needle nose, long nose. That cutter works well and cutter works well on those. So you move up to 10, that's above the capacity that they recommend, that's no problem. Also got some six gauge stranded wire, so several different wires in there adding up to six gauge. If I go with the Knipix diagonals on this, it takes quite a bit of force. It does cut through there eventually, uh, but I, I gotta squeeze it right there at that end. I gotta put quite a bit of effort into that. We go with the gear wrench, uh, open that up. I believe that that does cut a little bit easier. So that is making me lean towards the pivot force or twin force might actually be better at taking away some of that stuff. But again, if it's saying that 12 gauge is the max capacity, I don't think you're gonna have a problem cutting 12 gauge with any of these. I don't think you're ever gonna feel that difference. If you go to cut something that is above the capacity of what it recommends, if you do that very often, I do feel like these cut better than what these do on this six gauge stranded or easier anyway so you get into the knipix uh long nose pliers i don't even think i can cut through that it does eventually really way overboard for a pair of pliers like this you saw how hard that was so now let me get into these gear wrench ones and that's easy so big difference there but it's also a much bigger pair of pliers uh, than these as well. The cutter's a lot bigger anyways. It's just a beefier set of pliers, but definitely drastically easier to cut this. And again, that's not apples to apples. It's just, that's what I've got. So that's what I'm showing you. And these actually, I think are pretty impressive. I do like uh, these long nose pliers with that kind of a cutter on them. And that you got that pivot force. These might come in handy, maybe even more so than the diagonals, which is what I intended to buy in the first place. So who knows? I'm glad I did buy uh, the two pack. But so there you go. I mean, it's seventeen dollars a pair versus sixty-seven to seventy dollars a pair. Uh, Fifty dollars difference between uh, those. Now again, that's comparing the twin force, not these regular ones. These are phenomenal. If you don't have a pair of these cutters are great and if you can get them to do that right there that's what i'm always looking for uh but for the price of 33 dollars for both of them i think it's a good price the steel looks pretty decent the handles are nice they're very very similar to the handles on your knipix they're not real thick uh like maybe some of the icon dipped handles these are these are the kind of handles that i like on tools again some people like 
comfort grip and all those things this is just my preferred handle they're not thick i like them i think they're worth the 17 dollars a piece for sure or the 33 for both especially if you don't have either one of these tools and you're starting out and you're wanting to build a tool bag and you don't want to quite step into paying 60 bucks for a pair of pliers yet uh, these might be the way to go but again that this leaves me wanting or you know leaves me wondering how good those twin force knippics are because if this cuts that six gauge easier than what this does then that makes me wonder how good a pair of knippics that have that same feature on it how good they are so i'm probably going to end up at some point getting those to try out as well uh, but you guys again let me know in the comments below what you think about these i think for the price they're good but again i don't try to push anything on you i bought these to try out i'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys and letting you know that they're an option out there uh, for those of you who might be looking for a set at a at a reasonable price these might be just what you're looking for but again let me know in the comments below especially if you've got those knippics twin force and the regular diagonals is it worth it to step up and get those i'm really interested in that but i hope that this was useful in some way you guys stay safe have a blessed day see you on the next video